look so good Your jeans have tails, maybe more than they should And you stare me hey. down and you pull me close You promise me that nobody knows You know hey. I'm crazy and you know I'm weird But big money you really like it when I bite to your ear So don't you hey. move, don't you say a word This is the part where the line gets blurred No good for you and all your exes still love you too they don't hey. touch you the way that i do so i'm about the little kids and you can ball me like a drink Ooh. tom and jerry bloody mary anything Ooh. this is the bar where you and i start we can get down get down get down with the music hey. i'm about the little kids and you can ball me like a drink Answer call. Answer call. Jay, what's up, bro? Man, how many times I gotta tell you? You can't be calling me bro. Trevor calls you bro. Trevor is black, dude. See, you just call me dude. That's not a very black thing to say. When white guys say bro, it just sounds like they're trying to be cool. It just doesn't sound right. So I can't say bro? Okay, what do you want me to say, man or player? Wait, stop, 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 stop. First of all, it's bruh, not bro. And it's player, not player. Look, Jay. Yeah, just stick to that. Jay, I gotta go. I have a date. And don't even think about calling me my full name. Oh, you don't like Jay Quain? Man, I know we've been friends since college, but you still white Nick. It's Jay Quan. Okay, whatever your name is, I gotta get going, bruh. Okay, that was pretty good. Gonna say her again? Yeah. Oh, I should have known. You've been kind of ghost since you've been dating her. Well, I think she's the one. So I gotta go. Okay, I suppose we can get a drink another time. Yeah, next week for show, I right? Latest, Jay Quain. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. At least pants are fine. Nick, pants are fine. You look good. Okay, it's gonna be a good one. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Would you like to start with any drinks or appetizers while you wait? Well, she is later than usual. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll have that rosé right there. Great choice. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. There are three of us, so our vote counts more. There's nothing worse than those boring romance movies. I know, right? The notepad, boring. So it's settled. We'll go see Magic Marcus, and if Lauren doesn't want to go, she can go watch Legends of the Autumn by herself. I gotta go, Mamas. I have a dinner date. Ah, oh, we're in, um... Beverly Hills. I have no idea where. I'll call you later. Hey, Sarah, you gotta show up on time every once in a while, you know? I'm sorry, babe. I was at a party, and I couldn't leave in the middle of the Stanky Lay contest. Then I had to clean up and... I'm sorry, a what contest? Stanky legs. Stanky? You know. The stanky leg. Okay. And the nay nay. Okay, sir. And then you break your legs. Woo! Okay, sit down. I get it, it's a dance. I'm serious, jeez. Lighten up. So. I chose this nice place um, mm -hmm. because I thought it would be a good place for us to discuss you know, where we are in this. Where we are? Or, yeah, like, where do we go from here, you know? Oh, <laughs> uh, Nick. I'm only 23. I'm not ready to settle down. What you said? Yeah, that was in bed. People say all kinds of things when they're having mad, passionate sex. Well, the sex is pretty damn hot. Doesn't mean we have to get married. I'm not saying get married, okay? I'm just saying we can... No, 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 now it's all ruined. Mm-mm, no. The sex is gonna be way too serious now. 
What? We should end this before it gets even more sappy. I'm sorry, Nick. Sarah, are you? Okay, yeah, sorry, I'm done. I love our Sundays. Hanging with my girls, having cocktails. Rhea, thank you so much for always being such a great host. Oh. Though it does feel a little sacrilegious to be drinking alcohol right after church. I don't see you turning down the drinks. Well, who could resist your specialty cocktails? Ah, temptation. Mm. I guess we're a bad influence. Oh, I guess. Mm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think it's because of the two of you that I'm going straight to hell. No, she doesn't. <laughs> Gosh, how do you do it, Priya? Do what? This balance. I mean, you're married with kids, and yet you still have time for two divorcees like us. Well, thank God for grandparents and golf. Uh, your kids are so lucky to have such incredible grandparents. And it gives me more time to spend with you guys. Oh, my God. You know, I don't know what I'd do without the two of you. I guess it'd just be me and my dog, Duke. <clears throat> yes, speaking of that, I know that Duke is a fantastic cuddler and all. You've got to get out there and start dating again. Yeah, uh, that dog Duke should not be the only man in your household. Duke keeps me going. <sighs> Getting up and taking him to the dog park every day, that's what helped me get out of bed when Terrence and I divorced. Well, now you got your dog park crew that you tell us about. They are so much fun. You guys have to meet them. <laughs> Maybe I'll like plan a gathering, like yeah. game night. Yeah. yeah. If I could ever find the time to do it. Until then, maybe the two of you can actually go with me to the dog park. Oh. No, 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 no. I don't trust everybody's dog. I mean, I know Duke, so we cool, but uh, a sister's not trying to get bit. <laughs> yeah, this white girl don't want to get bit either. Oh, there okay. you go. Yep, with you. <laughs> you guys... <laughs> Cheers to my college friends. Oh, Gotta sure. love you. Cheers. 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 Speaking of which, do you remember this one when she got drunk, we had to fish her out of the dumpster? Go away. Jay, what are you doing here? It's Sunday football, man. What did you forget? Yeah. Why do you look hungover? Because I am. I've never seen you hungover. Sarah left me at the restaurant last night. So I drank the bottle of champagne I ordered for us. Then she sent me a text confirming that she's indeed breaking up with me. So I drank another bottle and then a few shots of the old whiskey. And... Man, why are you crying over this girl? So what? The sex was good. She was 23 years old. It's supposed to be good. That's it. Period. Nothing else. <laughs> what was that? The neighbors, maybe. Oh. <laughs> Your neighbors look a lot like Sarah's dog. She asked me to take care of them while she's out of town for a few weeks. Let me get this straight. She left you at the restaurant by yourself, then confirmed the breakup with a text, and you agreed to take care of her dog? while well, she's probably away with another man or will end up getting with another man? It sounds bad when you say it like that. What are you doing with my wallet? I'm taking your player card because it's officially revoked. Look, man, you are a smart and successful guy, okay? She's not the only chick in the world, so when you find the Nick that I know, you give me a call because <laughs> ain't no coochie in the world worth all this. Look, Jay, I'm in a room with a bunch of computer nerds all day, okay? I don't get out much. You used to be one of them, man. And now you design some of the best apps in the world. I mean, who could design apps for this tiny thing? And they're good too, man. Look, know your value. Now go out there and find a girl that doesn't know anything about you, start from scratch, and don't pull out the ball at once until she loves you for you. I don't want anyone else, I wanted Sarah. And stop buying African art. I like it. You're not African. If you're gonna steal my credit card, then come with some food next time. Wings or something. Okay? Your dog is adorable. What's his name? Sorry, uh, Max. His name's Max. That's a good, strong name. You okay, hon? 
Just a little preoccupied, I guess. Heartbreak, huh? Yeah, I'll get you in the gut. I know you don't see it, but this time next year, she'll be a distant memory, and you'll wonder what you ever saw in her. You get it together. No one's worth seeing the world in shades of gray. Look around. It's a colorful world. Hey, Max. This isn't your fault, buddy. There you go. <laughs> He's an English bulldog. They don't normally retrieve things. He's special. I know. I've never seen a bulldog run like him. Listen, I don't know you, but I have a feeling that your heartbreak comes from only going after poodles and ignoring other breeds because of some preconceived notion of what they are. Maybe you should broaden your horizons. You have a good day, young man. The service down here sucks. I've been so worried about Max. How's he doing? He's fine. Where are you? In this resort somewhere. Can I talk to him? Um, OK. <gasps> How's my cutie woody cuddly wuddly baby boy? Aw, is Nick taking care of my precious boo 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 baby love? Yeah. You never spoke to me like that. Nick, he's a dog. Yeah, my point exactly. <sighs> Why did you reverse the camera? I want to see my man. I thought I was your man. Nick. What? Sarah, if you don't want to talk to me, then why don't you just have Lauren or Renee dog sit? <laughs> they couldn't take care of a stuffed animal properly. I would never trust them with my most prized possession. Do you not miss me at all, Sarah? What? Did the past year not mean anything to you? Hello? <sighs> I don't know who you are anymore, Nick. You've changed. Oh, God. Hi. Hi. What are you doing, handsome? Off it. Come in, Jay. You can come in. Hey. Hi. So your team's about to go down hard. <laughs> uh, gonna put the game on? Uh, you can stay and watch it, man. I gotta get Max to the dog park. Can't it wait till after the game? I gotta take him out while it's so cool out. Bulldogs overheat. Really, Nick? What? All right, man. Wait, you need company? I would love for another human being to come along. OK, you got it. Let's go. All right. So this is why you've been missing Sunday football. Sarah's got a special kind of dog. You can only come here in the morning or at night, or else he overheats. Also, he can only eat wild game because of his allergies. My god, is that food expensive? Are you paying for his food? Jay, I have to wipe him between his crinkles daily, or else he'll become infected. He has to sleep in my bed with me, or else he just barks until he gets his way. Needy. <sighs> Sorry for dragging you here, man. I just wanted some human company. My oh, brother ain't complaining, man. His chick's everywhere. All I see is dogs. 
God. Through your vision, sir. So wait, you've been coming here almost daily? Pretty and, much. And you haven't made any friends? What, with the other dogs? Oh. Where are you going, boy? Oh my god, what a cute dog. What's his name? What? Oh, uh, Max. It's adorable. Yeah. He's not my dog, though. He's my ex's. Oh, I see. So sharing custody of the dog you guys adopted together? That's so sweet. Oh, no. No, he's just her dog. Yeah, she had him before we got together. And he's not adopted. You wouldn't imagine how expensive he was. I see. Well, good luck. Good luck. What? You have absolutely no game. No one wants to hear about your sob breakup stories, man. OK, look, from now on, he's your dog, and you adopt him. But no. Women like men who adopt dogs. It makes them look caring and compassionate. Jay, purchasing a dog doesn't make anyone seem less caring. You're missing the point, Nick. Yeah, I am. Mm. If I was single, I wouldn't leave here without a number or two. But a brother can look. Yeah, well, you most certainly are not single. In fact, she's probably watching you right now. Where? <laughs> it's possible, but I was Don't kidding. Play with me like that. It's not funny. Okay, here we are. Thank you. Oh, are. such a pretty thank color. You. All right, thank you. You thank all you. enjoy your drinks. You too. So how old is he? Shelter thinks he's about four. Shelter? Oh, what a wonderful dog daddy you are. Yeah. I think adopting a dog is the best thing you can do. I know. Totally. I'm Kelly. Oh. Nick. Nice to meet you, Kelly. Nice to meet you. Call me sometime. I will. Man, that really does work. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, buddy. How are you feeling today, young man? Oh, hello. I'm feeling a lot better. Thanks for asking. You have a good heart, looking after your ex-girlfriend's dog, even though she dumped you. It takes a lot of forgiveness to do that. Most people don't know how to forgive. They just walk around with bitterness in their heart. Did I tell you that my ex-girlfriend dumped me last time when... She comes here every day with her little one. She and those ladies over there have a dog park friendship. So entertaining to see people come together, sometimes out of loneliness, and sometimes because they simply share something in common, like a dog. I never see you here with a dog. Oh, I don't have one. <laughs> Why do you come here? Dog spelled backwards is God. I come here to experience God. <laughs> Looks like you'd like to mingle. <laughs> do you just come here, collect numbers, and then go home? Oh, you see that? I see everything. Well, I haven't called any of them back. Oh, I don't know. I still can't seem to get my ex off my mind. It's easy to confuse pride with sorrow. It's not easy to be dumped. It's a big blow to the ego. But I think deep down you knew she wasn't truly the one. When I first saw the two of you here, he was playing with other dogs. Now this beautiful soul stays right by your side to be sure you're OK. She has a beautiful smile, doesn't she? does. There's a reason the rear view mirror is smaller than the windshield. When we look forward, the world opens up. And when we look back, it gets smaller. You're right about that. <sighs> All these kind words. I never even got your name. Mary. I'm Mary. Nice to meet you, Mary.
Well, yeah, let me look a little bit. Hi. Uh, just uh, wanted to introduce myself to you. I'm Nick. Hello. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm Jasmine. Nice to meet you, Jasmine. And who's that? This is Duke. Mm. And who might this be? This here is Max, uh, spelled with two X's. Oh. Yeah. Well, hello there, Max, with two X's. Say hi. <laughs> so you two come here often, or to the? Yeah, uh, my little guy needs lots of exercise. Yeah, I can see that. So does mine. It's... Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> well, man, he just stands there. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <sighs> so. Uh, oh. Uh, how? How old is he? Oh, um, the shelter thinks he's somewhere around four. Hmm. Yeah. How old is uh, Max? Max? Um. Did Daddy pick you out of a crowd too? Yeah, I did. I um. How'd you get that? Well, you have a gentle face, so I figure. Ah. <laughs> so, um, Jasmine, can I take you out to dinner sometime? Be nice. Great. Okay. Um, well, I'll have my secretary, or not my secretary, I'll call you tomorrow and uh, we'll check your schedule and uh, looking forward to dinner. Nick, I didn't give you my number. Oh, yeah. Well, you're gonna need that. Here you go. Here. It's gonna need that. There you go. Thanks. Yeah. See you tomorrow, or not tomorrow, because that would be weird. Well, OK. Nick. Huh? Your dog. Oh, yeah. Probably should take him. Come on, Max. Jesus. He's being grumpy today. <laughs> Bye. I'll Bye. call you, or? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? He forgot his dog. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cute, though. Oh, I can choose my own. Thank you very much. OK. It's like that. Yep. It's like that. All right. Do you want a break, or should I? Oh, um, I'll break. <laughs> I guess I will rag. Yeah. What? Did you think that you would just have to show me how to make every move? <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess I could have played it that way since I know how much you guys love that. You are very <laughs> sexy. It's gonna be a long night. Yeah, I guess so. Well, how soon will the programs be ready? I have a full house tonight. They have to read something. Okay, I I'm gonna call you back in 15 minutes. I 15 minutes. Hey. Hi. We still on for lunch? Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I forgot. That's a one to reschedule. Maybe you can help me with something. Yeah. I've been trying to figure out this program. If I can figure it out, then I can leave for lunch. Let me hop on this. Okay. My guys work with this every day. So you just really just go to your settings. Settings. Okay. Yeah. And go through here with your preferences. And you can just set it like this. Oh. <laughs> Pretty easy. Let's see, settings. Mm-hmm. Preferences. Third one down. I've been wanting to do that since I first met you. Ooh. What took you so long? Should we go to lunch? Why does he look happy? Hey! What's up? Why are you looking like
like someone died. Nick is happy. <gasps> Without you? <gasps> the nerve. Something has to be done about this. Yeah, I think we need to scramble in the call conference in Renee. When's the funeral? Nick is happy. Did Sarah take him back? No, I didn't take him back. Then how could that be? I don't know. That's the point. Look, I need you girls to do some investigating until I can get back in town. Where are your girls? Of course we will. This won't happen on our watch. We'll see what's going on. Thanks, mamas. Our, our pleasure. pleasure. Well, this place is grown and sexy. Yes, you are. <laughs> Thanks for joining me here. You're welcome. This place is really nice. I've never been here before. Looks like I found a gem. You know, I don't date much. I'm so busy with work, it's... When did you know you wanted to be a writer and director? Since I was a child, only I had no idea what it was. I just knew that when I saw beauty, I had to capture it somehow. Kind of like that. You see how the moon is against the backdrop of the night? It's like its light can't be hidden by darkness. In some ways, I'm like a painter. Only the page is my canvas, and the stage and screen are the way I deliver to the world. I find what you do fascinating. It's just so creative and feels so free to me. <laughs> Thank you. You know, when I was 10, my mother took me to the stage play and I just remember all of the movement and colors on stage. I knew from that point on, I wanted to be a part of something that made me feel like that. Is that when you decided to write as well? Great question. <laughs> I knew that I had to create what I wanted to feel. I remember the first time I sat down to pin my first stage play, I realized that I could create an entire universe with one stroke of the keyboard. I could even erase pain if I wanted to. Yeah. I could rewrite and delete anything I wanted. And in a world where we control nothing, writing gave me control of everything. <laughs> Jasmine, you're an amazing woman. I'm happy I brought you here. Hey, boss. You have some good news for me? Yep, the app is almost done. I need you to come down for your approval. OK, great. I'll be right down. All right. What do you got for me, Tasha? Near perfection. Similar to my shop. Hops! Woo! Oh. Huh. Check it out. Looks good. Yes. Tasha. Few little. Proud of you. Tweaks and we're yeah. good. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, here we go. Yes, Sarah? You don't sound very happy to hear from me. Well, you don't usually call me unless I'm at home with Max and you only want to talk to him. So I guess I'm wondering why are you calling me right now? Well, don't you miss me, Nick? Nick? I'm sorry. I was checking to make sure I was speaking to the right person. Is there something you need, Sarah? And what are you, backpacking across Europe? It's actually why I'm calling, because um, I have a family emergency and I have to make a stop in Boise before coming back. So it could be a few more weeks. That's fine, Sarah. Max is in good hands, all right? Well, how are you, Nick? Gotta go, okay? Call me when you're on your way back from, uh, what was that, Netherlands? All right, bye. 
<laughs> Don't. <laughs> so where is she this time? Look like Fiji or something. Mm, of course she is. Year of my life. Oh. <laughs> You're right, he doesn't know that he's a bulldog. And just when I was about to make my move. Oh, well not in front of the kids. Now they shall be forced to watch. Oh. <laughs> So, what am I missing? Did you want eggs? I can make them. Two minutes. No, you. A good looking, smart, successful, intelligent guy. Not married, not gay, and completely available. What am I missing? I could say the same about you. Yeah, but I'm a divorcee. <sighs> Look, Jazz, I'm not gonna pretend to be some angel. You know, I know this all looks so nice, but I've never been married because I've never committed to anybody. I always put my company first, and I had a lot of shallow relationships. And one girl I was with that I actually let myself get close to Two weeks before our wedding, I walked away from her. Two weeks? Why are you telling me this? Because I, I can't lie to you. I care too much, and I, I don't want to have any secrets. So how do I know that you won't just abandon me also? Because it's all about timing. Jazz, if I had met you at another point in your life, you wouldn't have been ready for me, and I wouldn't have been ready for you. <sighs> this is the time that we get to build something new together, because we're ready. I don't know why this makes me so nervous. Meeting my friends? Yeah. Jazz, there's nothing to worry about. They're going to love you. Come on. Uh-uh. What? Uh, she's no good for you, Nick. Cause she should have been mine. Damn! Where have you been hiding? Oh! And why am I married? <laughs> Don't pay him no mind. His mama dropped him on his head at birth. <laughs> nice to meet you. You too. <laughs> See, I told you. They're totally harmless. <laughs> Welcome to our world, Jasmine. My husband is harmless indeed. Mm, you wasn't saying that when I was playing the cop last night. Oh, he does like the role play. Mm -hmm, and I'm good at it, too. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I should have been an actor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Denzel ain't got nothing mm -hmm. on me. <laughs> OK. They like to show off. Uh, love this new filter. It makes my hair look like it's on fleek. Bingo. What? He checked in. Uh, gotta go. Operation wreck -a boo is in full effect. OK, let's go wreck -a boo Wait, shouldn't it be Operation wreck -a bay See people their age call each other boo. Oh, you're right. Let's go. <laughs> My boo takes care of his baby. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? This place looks expensive. We'll just buy drinks. Yes. I love that he checks in. It makes our job much easier. I know. I guess that's his new boo. That's OK, because soon we bow to Red Abu! 
Almost blew our cover. Uh, so you guys met at the dog park, huh? Yes, and I was so impressed by how he adopted his dog. His dog? Jasmine, about that. <clears throat> <clears throat> Adopted? And then he's dropped it gorgeous on top of it. He's going to drop dead, all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think we got all the info we need. I think you're right. <laughs> dish and dash. <laughs> yep, we got the dish, and now we got a dash. And without even having to pay for those designer drinks. <laughs> nice work. Likewise, partner. <laughs> Hey, thanks for letting me stop by, by the way. Shh. My wife's sleeping. Oh. She's not the nicest when she has her cramps. This is married life, man. Solid. Look, Jay, I gotta tell Jazz that Max is not my dog. Oh, you calling her Jazz now? Okay. Oh, can I cut her name short without asking if that's okay? It's cool, man. Chicks love that stuff. <sighs> yeah, just like you said, they'd love the fact that I adopted a dog. It worked, didn't it? Yes, but I don't know. I had no idea that she and I would go this far, okay? What am I gonna do when Sarah gets back into town? You got a point, man. That's it? That's all you have to say for yourself? I mean, how was I supposed to know the rebound was gonna turn into the replacement? I'm gonna tell her today. I hope she doesn't hate me for it. You really like this girl, don't you? Yeah. I see you starting to fall for this dog, too. Yeah. Here's your player card back, man. I forgot you even had this. <laughs> Did you use that? Consulting fees. Fair. You didn't expect me to show up, did you? Wait, Ken, you're upstaging her. OK, let's do it again. And this time, hit your mark, please. All right, let's reset. In fact, let's take 10. For my directress. Oh, wow, a man who brings me flowers I like. Yeah, well, I'm a keeper. <laughs> Sorry, am I interrupting, by the way? I thought rehearsal would be over by now. Oh, well, it probably should be. I think we're running this into the ground. You know what? That's a wrap for today. Let's uh, pick back up tomorrow. Look, Jazz, I have a bit of a confession to make. Oh, I think we may have the place to ourselves. <laughs> you, 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 you know my dog, Max, my bulldog? Well, so I haven't totally been... Is he okay? Yeah, no, he's fine. Oh, then maybe it can wait. Well... <sighs> Theater yeah. seats aren't that comfortable, but um, I know a better place. Oh, you naughty woman. <laughs> this is supposed to be an abandoned hotel lobby. Well, let's make it real. Sure do have a lot of friends. Yeah, well, it must be a bit nerve-wracking meeting them all at once. Just a little. <laughs> oh, Rhonda, wait for a second. Thank you so much for hosting game night. Yes. Oh, yeah, it was a great idea, so thank you. <laughs> we finally get to meet Nick. Yes, finally. Uh-oh! Yes, 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 My baby is my partner. <laughs> so I guess it's Jazz and Nick. All right. Not with all that 
Chemistry. Yeah, we sandbagged it too, so y'all bet not Renee. And the deuces are hot. And we're going blind six, right? Yeah, blind six is the minimum. Okay. Um, why don't I, why don't I let someone else play? Because I, um... Uh, hey, you're not gonna play with your girl? Well, I would, but I have absolutely no idea how to play this game. Oh, that's right. We've been hanging for so long, and now Jazz is your girl. I what? totally forgot. You forgot what? That he ain't black. Oh, babe! Okay. <laughs> A couple weeks ago, you were making fun of me on the phone, saying I'm trying too hard by calling him bro. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. Oh, I don't, why don't let Sandy play? Now, you must have been a teacher's pet. Why do you say that? Because how else would you have graduated high school, man? What do you and Sandy have in common? I don't know. Height? OK, Nick, I'm going to need you to look at everyone else here at the space table. Anything similar? Anything <sighs> distinct? Come on, come on, take them alone. Tones? <laughs> no, no, we need alone. you to figure this out. OK. Is that really? That's okay, we need a black person at the space table. Okay, no. Please. Yes. <laughs> no, it's good. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Go on. Let's do that. You can take it. You've been taking it for years. Oh. Oh. All right, I guess you're my partner. All right. Y'all about to get set just for that. So I like Operation Wreck a Boo. Now let's get it done. But first, my new bae gave me my own credit card with my own name and everything. We're going shopping in the morning, girls. You're here. Mm -hmm. Welcome back. Hey, Chica, you found you a good one. <laughs> and here I am trying to find one at church. Between amen and hallelujah, I'm checking hands for wedding bands. <laughs> <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> and here Jazz finds her true love at the dog park. Yeah, but that's the thing. Like, I, I didn't find anything. I wasn't even looking. I was on finder.com, sugarpapa.com, plentyofmen.com, and catch.com. And wait all the dot-coms you can think of. <laughs> and, oh, none of them look even remotely like their picture. We met here, too. Yeah, the dog park better than any online dating. Oh, well, okay. at least I met you guys here. New friends are nice to have. <laughs> yeah. I agree. I met my husband at the supermarket. <laughs> Does that really happen? I, I thought that only happened on TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Jazz, we are all so happy for you. Yeah. You were just glowing lately. <laughs> you, that ex-husband yeah. of yours was just greedy. It's kind of like a cliche, you know, the handsome, rich guy who mm. cheats on his wife. Only I thought that if anyone would defy that stereotype, it would have been Terrence. You know what I did? I actually surprised my ex-husband at work with nothing but a negligee underneath a trench coat. <laughs> and uh, then I found out that the secretary beat me to the punch. Uh. So, you know, I just... I dove into work, and I just focused, and I almost even came over to your side. Ooh. It turns out that God just didn't give me the gay gene, so <laughs> that didn't work. Well, actually, that doesn't really matter, because everybody cheats. It doesn't matter the gender or sexuality. It's true. We both dealt with that in our past relationships. Mm. But it looks like you found yourself a keeper this time. Yeah. Here comes Nick now. Oh. oh. <laughs> Well, he's right on time. <laughs> As usual. Doggy daddy. Hey, ladies. Hey. Good to see you. Sorry. Don't mean to take her away from you here. We just want to see her happy. Yeah, you take care of her now, you hear? Mm -hmm. Just because I'm in a relationship doesn't mean I'm going anywhere. Yeah. You know how someone disappears once they boot up. Aww. Aww. How cute. Even his dog loves her. I know. And the feeling is mutual. Who could not love that face? <laughs> You guys look like one big happy family. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much is. I mean, with these dogs, it's like having kids. Yeah, yeah we have a blended like family. <laughs> <laughs> they jump on us and all sorts of things. Honey. <laughs> Honey. I'm back, babe. Who is that? Sarah. Hi. What are you doing? <gasps> There's my little angel, Max. Did you miss your mommy? Yes. Dick, who's this? I'm Sarah. Who are you? Sarah? I, I thought Sarah was your ex. Is that what he told you? I leave to go take care of my sick grandma, and I come back to this? What are you doing? I don't know what's going on. Just give me my dog, and I'm going home. 
Give me his leash. Take it. <sighs> Come on, Maxie, baby. It's okay. Mommy's gonna take care of you. She's taking Max? What? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Who is she? Okay, Max is her dog, but she's my ex, okay? She's not my girlfriend. She's, oh my God. she's crazy. Jasmine, no. Jasmine. Oh, no, no, no. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are, Nick. Jasmine. Nick, I think you better leave. Ladies, just. The dog park is for people with dogs. Yeah. Ladies, yeah. Jazz. Uh, no, 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 no. It's best you leave now. Just let me talk to her, okay? Bye. Jasmine. Just go. Jasmine, I'm gonna call you, okay? It's, it's not what it looks like. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. I'm gonna call you, okay? You okay? Hi, Rita. Hey, love. How you doing? It feels like one big dream. I know, but you can't give up. Jazz. I already have, Rita. You know that. After years of not trusting anyone based on my past, I, I finally opened up again. I know. And you may have to try again and again and again. But the answer is not to give up. Friends and therapists and the whole world, they say that you should trust and, and make yourself vulnerable. How the hell is anyone supposed to do that? How do you do it? You forgive. You move on, but mostly you believe. It only takes a little faith to move mountains. Remember those who pay the way for you. Remember who you are. And don't forget your name and to tell the stories written in your heart. That's a good one, right? Yes. Oh, perfect. perfect. I love that filter. It's so cute. Such good light. I know. Oh, so cute. Oh, we're so cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's the plan for getting Nick back? I don't want him back. You don't? Of course not. It would be no fun now. I agree with Sarah. No challenge, no fun. Then why are you posting pics of you two? So no one else can have him. Duh. She's not coming. I don't want to leave you guys hanging, plus I need to get out of the house, so here I am. Oh, babe, give me a glass of wine. What happened, sweetie? Well, she figured out that Max isn't my dog, amongst other things. Well, why on earth would you lie to her about that anyway? Well, I have this friend who thought that it'd be a good idea to tell her that Max was my dog and that I adopted him from the shelter. Who would give you that kind of crazy advice? Who in the hell? Oh, hell no. Jaquan Tyrell Davis. Oh, babe, okay, I was just trying to help Nick with his game. Game? How does somebody with no game teach someone how to run game? Well, you see, that's the thing. My game is that I have no game. And that's how I got you, right, babe? <laughs> and you got a point. <laughs> but you done messed up his love life with your foolery. You mean foolishness? No, I mean foolery, fool. Now come on over here and help this man figure out this mess that you helped him make. And what the hell were you thinking listening to him? He's my friend, I don't know. 
It looks like y'all two gonna need some time to figure out how to fix this mess and get her back. I'll be in here watching Empire. But babe, we could use your help. After Empire. Food's in there on the stove. But we DVR it. Can we eat without you? I'm hungry, okay? I didn't eat before I came here. It's dinner party. Are you sure this is the right dog park? Yeah, this is it. I remember all them dogs right there. I don't see them yet, though. I don't know where they are. Baby, you think we should get a dog? I already have one. <laughs> Last time I was here, Jasmine and her friends were sitting over there. Well, let's go see if they know her. So maybe uh, you think I'm a big dog or a little dog? You're a little dog. What a big bite, though. Oh. <laughs> You're still in the doghouse, though. You're still in Baby, the doghouse. I'm making it no, better. no, 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 no. Can you wait That's for me, please? Can... Well, hurry up. Jeez. It's getting pretty late. Do you think they're coming? I don't know. I hope they do, though. Is that them? Is that them? You tell me. You've been at the park before. No, I, I think was. that might be them. Are you sure? I think so. Let's go see. Okay, but I'm girl time. time for my wife. That's oh, OK. All right. That's fine, baby. Yeah. Hi, ladies. Hey. Um, we were wondering if you all knew someone by the name of Jasmine. She's a beautiful young lady with a little dog. Yes. Is she OK? Probably not. That's because my husband did something stupid. Yeah, I convinced Nick, the guy she's been dating, to do something I think might have really hurt her. And who are you? I'm his best friend. Hey, listen, whatever you did, I doubt any of us will want to help you or him. I'm sorry, what's your name? Rita. Rita. I'm Jay Kwan. Listen, Jay Queen. Jay, Jay Kwan. You know, whatever you convinced him to do, shame on you. And shame on him for doing it. Yeah. Please, please. It took a lot for him to come down here and ask for your help. So please, just listen to what the man has to say. And you can call him Jay. Go on. So my boy was struggling, and he was trying to pick up girls. And I told him to lie and say the dog was his. You didn't expect me to show up, did you? No, I didn't. Wait, wait, I don't think my character should say it like that. Then how do you think he would say it? Like this. The next time you try to sneak up on me. Jasmine. Terrence? <sighs> Listen, tomorrow's opening night, and you bring this to me now? Just say it however you want. It's a wrap for tonight. I'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Great job. What are you doing here, Terrence? Your celebrity actor still changing your script. Why are you here? Well, I used to be part owner of this, and I figured I And I just... bought you out. OK. I thought enough time may have passed for the anger to subside, but first, I want to apologize for everything. So why do you think that everything is this magic word without taking responsibility for anything specific? I understand. You're angry. But I don't want us to be enemies. You are my best friend, as well as my wife. Why do we have to hate each other? You busy now? Can I show you something? this to the house a few months ago. I remember how much you loved the planets and the stars, galaxies. <gasps> it's beautiful. <sighs> Take a look. Oh, Jupiter is crystal clear tonight. I got a peek at Europa the other night. Uh, Europa? What do you know about Europa? <laughs> I built this, a part of me hoped one day we would reconcile. And the other part thought it'd be cool to have an observation deck. But when I come out here, 
and I relax and I just look through the scope or look up at the sky on a dark night. I can see why you're always so fascinated with the heavens. It's humbling, you know? It lets me know that there's something so much bigger than me. Look, precious. It, it's Jasmine. Terrence, you no longer have the right to call me nicknames. Okay. Jasmine, I was an arrogant fool. I prayed for success. Lots of money. A beautiful wife. And when the universe gave it all to me, I took it without giving anything back. Yeah, well, why are you telling me this? Because I want you back. Precious, precious. Precious, precious. Precious, baby, on the line. Good job. Where'd you get that? <laughs> I thought it was good. <laughs> oh. Is it Nick? No, actually, it's Terrence. Terrence? Terrence? Yeah. Are you sleeping with him? Girl, no. I'm, I'm just barely getting over Nick. Yeah, that would be a very good reason to start sleeping with your ex husband. Yeah, I can't say I'm above sleeping with my ex-husband, even if he is married. Oh, okay, we'll get back to you later. What's going on with you and Terrence? He just showed up at the theater out of the blue. After all this time? It's like deja vu. I know, that's what I'm saying. Why now? It's like they can sense when you're moving on. Yeah, it's like I've been feeling stuck for the past three years, and then now that there was someone else in the picture, here comes Terrence. Maybe he saw you all online. Girl, no. Terrence does not have time to be a social media stalker. You never know. Mm -hmm. So you think he just showed up for no reason? I think he showed up for the wrong reason. Girl, would you stop it? I seriously doubt that Terrence would Did you post any pics of you and Nick? Well, yeah. OK, so when did you post and when did he show up? OK, look, I posted around, oh, see that picture? That was the first one. And then I, then he showed up around, no way. My ex did the same thing. I told you. But Terrence isn't like. Wow. Let me just double check this. I miss you. Delivery came for you. Oh, who's it from? Let's see. Good luck on the opening of your show tonight, Terrence. Oh. Wow. So nice. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Hey. Good to see you. Thanks for coming out. Group hug. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right. Congratulations on a great show. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> you have plans now? Can we talk? Sure. Yeah. Thank you. I'm glad you came. Beautiful show tonight. You know, writing and directing have grown so much. Well, thank you, but it's been three years and you haven't come to one of my shows. Yeah, I, I didn't want to come too soon. I don't know what... You know, Terrence, if this were three years ago, things may have been different. I mean, I may have even forgiven you because you were my husband, not some random boyfriend. And sometimes marriages are worth fighting for. I'm sorry, I didn't know what to do, I just... You know, I gave you the floor, now please. Let me speak, because... There's this, um... There's this window, and... It's a brief period of time that you have to redeem yourself. And with time, that window gets smaller and smaller. I'm not saying that I would have taken you back for sure. 
But there was a time that I missed you so much that even infidelity may have been something we could have worked through with a therapist. But where were you, Terrence? When I was hoping and, and praying that you would apologize or give me a call or, or do half the things that you're doing now. I didn't feel worthy. I just couldn't face you then. All right? But I'm here now. Now? <laughs> you always did have swag. You groomed me well then, and you are attempting to do it now. And if I were in the same place that I was three years ago, it may have worked again. I mean, the observation deck and rare coins. You know, with all your good looks and your game and your swag, I can see that you are a changed man. But, um, I have to admit that when I went on my morning jog this morning and I looked at my application on my watch, I realized that it's designed by the men that I do love. So you're in love with someone? Yeah, but um, it's over between he and I, so I... So did he miss the window too? Technically, he's still in the window. I can, um, respect that. Ten years ago, I would have stormed out of here with a deflated ego. I would have tried to punish you in some way for having the gall to turn me down. But I've learned how to truly love. And because I love you, I want you to be happy. Don't let what I did ruin it for the next person. Oh, and by the way, I make a great friend. I'm sorry I missed the window. Wait, you sure you want to do this, man? Yeah. This one is going to be yours. You're going to have to walk it every day for the rest of your life. Yeah. I never realized how much I love dogs until I got Max. I miss him. Hello. How may I help you? Well, I believe I'm here to rescue a dog. Rescue? I know you mean well. However, just so you know, the shelter's already done the rescuing. So hopefully you're here to adopt your forever friend. Yes, of course. Sorry. I, my apologies. I never right. thought of it that way. But yeah, I adopt. totally understand. So are you here to adopt a dog? Yeah. Awesome. Let me show you. Follow me. Cool. Squatchy. Itchy, scratchy. 
Oh, look at this one. You getting soft, Jay? No, it's just got expressive eyes. He does. Hey, can we see this one? You okay, puppy? Some of them are a bit shy, but we don't know what they've been through, but she's super sweet. Oh, you're a girl. I think she's the one. Yeah? As soon as we get your application and a quick interview, you'll have yourself a new pet. Great. What do you think? Are you crying? Crying? No, me? Never. Great profit margins. There's someone here to see you. I don't have any meetings scheduled for today. Who is it? Um, he says he's from some network. Well, you forgot to mention that. Who is it? He says his name is Howard Parker. Howard Parker? Oh. He's from a major network. What's he want with me? Send him in. Howard. Hi, Jasmine. Thank you for meeting me unannounced. I wanted to get to you before the others. Others? I saw a few of the other networks at your premiere last night, and I'm quite sure that you'll be getting other offers. Wait, wh what offers? I wanted to offer you the opportunity to develop your stage play into a TV show. And you don't have to give up your theater. You may have to hire someone to run it from time to time, but... Wait a minute. You, you had me a TV show. I've been pitching my show ideas to network for years. Why now? Well, when you do something that gets our attention and that has the buzz that you did last night, we come to you. Buzz? There's, there's buzz? <laughs> <laughs> Look, you don't have to do anything. Your story idea was amazing. And I just wanted to come down and see how it was executed. You should know that it's just me. I don't have some big team around me. I do it all around here. We'll build your team. You're a great writer-director. And if you give me first dibs, I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, think about it. OK. Oh. Give me a call. Mm -hmm. oh, OK, thanks. So I've been with you to the dog pound, the dog park, and now we're doing doggy playtime with a bunch of tiny dogs. Are we ever going to watch a football game again in our lives? Well, we DVR them. It's not the same as watching them live. Well, the shelter said that socialization is good for her, so she stays used to being around other dogs. I can't go to the other dog park, that's for sure. Just had to be on football Sunday. Doesn't Just... anyone here watch football? Hey. This wifey, I'll be back. Mary? Hi there, young man. I didn't expect to run into you here. I thought you only went to the other dog park. I visit other parks from time to time. So how's it going? You're looking a little sullen. It's funny, Mary. I only seem to run into you when I'm going through a breakup. Do you love her? Yes, I can see it. It's all over you. What's all over me? Well, love, of course. There's a certain glow that comes only from the real thing. It shines through even when you're down. 
doesn't come often. Well, I've never felt like this before. So why don't you try to get her back? She won't even talk to me. The kind of love you feel for her doesn't only go one way. Trust me, she feels the same. You're a genuine young man. I guess there's nothing you could have done that can't be fixed. So fix it. Time to start my rounds. Enjoy your afternoon, young man. Yo, you ready? Rhonda needs me to pick up some things from the store. Yeah. <clears throat> you all right? Yeah, it's that she always says the most profound things to me. Who? Mary, that woman I was just sitting with. The sun must be getting to you, man, because you're seeing things. I saw you sitting here by yourself. What do you mean? Wait, what? You just walked by her. Okay, well, let's get you home. Upsy daisy. <laughs> no, seriously. Hi. Hi. Now that you answered, I don't even know what to say. Look, I screwed up in a major way by not telling you the truth about Max. But Sarah is not my girlfriend, OK? She's my ex. Well, then why are there pictures of you all over the internet? What? No, Jasmine, those are old. Those aren't. Anything. Nick, how would I even know if you're telling the truth? You're right. You wouldn't. But before you, I was wasting time with that person you're seeing on the screen. And since I met you, all the alarms went off. I woke up and I realized that what I had with her wasn't even real. Can you imagine if I got my whole life thinking that was love? Not telling the truth. That isn't love. You're right, it was wrong. Okay, but I'm so sorry. I appreciate you calling, Nick, but I just can't trust you. Jess? You must be hungry. I can't believe I'm actually watching the game live. I don't know when this will happen again, so, my friend, I am getting it in. Yeah, well, Sunshine here doesn't have to go to the park at special hours. That's good. So uh, every time I come here, it seems like you on the couch. Don't you have a bedroom, man? No, nah, I prefer the couch when I'm single. Looks like you've been there a while. Since Jazz left, it's been that way. Well, why don't we change that? Why don't you download a dating app? What? Yeah. No way. My colleagues will see me on that. If your colleagues see you on there, that means they're on there too. You do make good points. You never know, man. That's how Rhonda and I met. What? We didn't have dating apps in college? She answered my personal ad. Like in the newspaper? Oh, yeah. Who puts personal ads in the newspaper when they're in college? I'm more of a teddy bear than you think, my friend. You know what, don't I look sensitive? Well, you learn something new every day. It wasn't cool to say that kind of stuff till recently. Wait, I told a whole story about you and Rhonda meeting in Atlanta at Freaknik when I was making the toast at your wedding. Yeah, we like that story better. It was funny, right? 
It was hilarious, and I believed it. I was lying to your whole family. That's all right, man. Who actually believes that anyone marries anyone they meet at Freaknik? Me, apparently. I mean, that's why they call it Freaknik. It's a freaky picnic. Freaknik. Well, well, I thought you and Rhonda met in a freaky picnic for years now. It's OK, friend. You're going to be OK. What? Yeah, boy. These refs are garbage. They are skilled. They're the best at their craft. Here's to our new show. It's going to be great. We have the best showrunner in the business. We love your pilot. Thank you. We've been getting a lot of thin scripts lately, but your script is just amazing. There's a lot of unexpected twists and turns. I have a good feeling about this. It'll be a hit. <laughs> Oh my God. I mean, your characters are so, so developed, so unique. <sighs> Hugs all around? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Another round. Oh, I haven't finished this one yet. <laughs> <laughs> so why did you pick me? Well, swiped right and so. Have you ever dated like this before? Yeah. Well, we Wait, don't tell me you're one of those serial internet daters. Well, we actually met on an app, remember? You just said internet. We actually met via application. Do you know that? Nope, I think so. Um, so pretty much everyone thinks that apps and internet are the same thing. Wrong, not the same thing. Um, and, you know, people actually think that apps are going to take over for the internet one day, which that's like a dream come true for my team. Wait. Because... In my own candid camera, and we are the cameras. <laughs> I can't believe you even know about that show. This is so cool. I knew it. I'm going to be on TV. <laughs> that show has been on the air for years. Am I being pumped? Are you crazy? That show has not been on TV in like forever. There's no cameras, so I don't know what you're Sandy, your dress is so pretty. Oh, thank you. I was trying to match my eyes a little bit. Yeah, it really works. Jazz, what are you... You okay, hon? Yeah, yeah, I'm getting better. Listen, I am so sorry that I haven't made time for you ladies with the new play that I was doing. There's and... no explanation necessary. You had an award-winning show. I mean, cheers to that, first of all. <laughs> you needed to focus. Yeah, focus so much that I forget about my girls. It was all about me and my new man. Yeah, man, we didn't meet until you were knee deep in love, by the way. Oh, you know I don't introduce my new man to friends that soon. I feel like it, it could jinx the relationship. Well, you posted it online. No, I didn't post it. He posted it and tagged me. I moved slower than that, you know. Well, we knew we'd meet him when and if you were ready. Do you think it was fear? Now, you know I'm not afraid of much. No, no, I think you have a point. She may not have trusted it was going to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Those trust issues may have kicked in again. Again? I haven't dated seriously in like three years, so... <laughs> My point exactly. You didn't even have to pay a therapist for that. You're welcome. <laughs> now, what'd you make us today? Oh, girl, I just put it all in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the whole bar. <laughs> you must be Cindy. Hey, Nick. I don't shake hands. More of a hugger? Me too. I don't touch at all until the spirits say it's OK. I asked you here so that I could read your energy. You first. first speak to you. Speak to me? Shh. Just listen. Hear anything? I heard a crick in the floor. Great choice. Druzy Chrysocola. Julie what? 
close your fist and feel its energy. Now, I'll just need your date of birth. Not just the month, but the month, day, and year, as well as time of birth. That's important to know before we have children, because... Yeah, actually, I have to put money in the meter. Um, so read that, and I'll be right back. Stay but right you can't you leave. The stars are aligned. <sighs> so, Wilma, have you ever ridden a horse before? No, I haven't. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> Hi. Hi. She looks like a nice one. Oh, she's a good one. Gracie's for beginners. Oh. Perfect. Look at her eyes. I know. Aren't they beautiful? Why is she staring at me? Oh, she's just saying hello. Yeah. I feel like she can see my soul. I want to go home. Oh, this was your idea. Wilma, I asked you to choose something, and you chose this. You just want to leave? That was before she could see inside of me. I never want to do this again. I don't think she's gonna have to worry about that one. Ta Tasha? Nick? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I'm riding. Huh? What, a black girl can't ride horses? No, no, I mean, you can ride horses. That totally, it's up to you. I, I wasn't saying that. It's not weird. <laughs> I got you, I got you. I'm just teasing Nick. Okay. It's funny, I actually, I was just recently dating a girl and she told me she used to ride. You? Date another black woman who rides horses? Yeah, that's what she told me. <laughs> and she actually rides? Yeah, she got on it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you need to get her in the Guinness Book because we don't go anywhere near horses, swimming pools, skinny dipping, skis, or anything else cold for that matter. <laughs> and we refuse to mess up our weaves in a convertible. Oh no, she didn't have a weave. No, I mean, not that there's anything wrong. I wouldn't mind if she did have a weave. I mean, you, is that a weave? I can never tell. <laughs> so you know her like that, huh? Yeah, I did know her like that. Then why are you here with olive oil? I don't know, but I should probably get back to it. Mm -hmm. I'll see you later, have Tasha. Have a good ride, Nick. Thank you. Well, I must say, all dog parks are not created equal. You can't go to the other one anymore. <clears throat> Why not? It's a free world. Jay, Jasmine will be there, and she doesn't want anything to do with me. This is not even the time of day she goes, man. Well, I bet one of her friends will be there. Have you ever seen her friends there this time of day? I... Come on, man, look at your dog. I need some real doggy friends. Okay. These dogs are bougie. I get the hint. <laughs> Sunshine is miserable. All right, let's go. Come on. Go ahead, girl. Man, there's like no one here today. Yeah, but the right people will be here. What? What are you, getting into philosophy now? Nostradamus. Uh, so when are we gonna get you a dog? <laughs> Rhonda thinks I'm dog enough. <laughs> get you a nice poodle, even things out. Poodle, huh? I'm a more of a big dog kind of dude. Dogs. I know. Oh, I left him. I left him at the house today. I guess I'm the only one to bring Duke today, huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Duke, here we go. Dog park. Oh, nice. Rhonda, I'm so happy you're going to volunteer with us for the shelter today. I'm excited. I've never done this yeah. before. <laughs> That's Nick. What's he doing here? Just trust us. Tr do you guys know about this? All of us did. What? Where's Duke? I can't, I can't do this right now. Can somebody get? Jess, come on. Listen to what he has to say first. Come on. Jay, didn't you know about this? Come on. I can't believe you guys did this. Just go talk to him, man. 
Jasmine, you should know that my husband thinks he's got game and try to rope Nick in his shenanigans. He told you that Max was his dog to try to impress you. Stupid, but forgivable. And Sarah is his ex. She's just being a hater right now. Look, what we're basically trying to say is that almost all of this is my fault. And we can't have y'all miserable over a misunderstanding. Just let me talk. One second. Look, Jasmine, I'm so sorry I didn't tell you the truth about Max, but you have to believe me when I tell you that there's nothing between Sarah and me. Jazz, I know that in your heart you trust me, and if you could just follow that, I promise you that I will make it up to you a thousand times. In my spirit, I know who you are. It was, uh, it was fear that prevented me from forgiving you, so for that, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. <laughs> <laughs> And these two. <laughs> I told you I had your back. <laughs> I can't believe you guys knew about this. I can't believe you guys were fighting so damn You long. sleeping next to me I, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may salute your bra. All the love we made before is knocking at my door. Yeah. Oh. I love before you say this is so How do you guys get Max to come? We gangsters, remember? <laughs> Nobody says no to Rhonda.